you just uh, I'm already tired good days are running I'm loving it I probably done ran myself to sleep maybe ran myself raggedy today boy uh, but but first we're gonna get out of here and we're gonna go out here and we're gonna look at weed control so let's go <laughs> oh boy Old knees getting bad. Climbing in and out. The trucks. Mm -mm. You talking about tired. Uh, let me get in here. Let me talk to y'all. Uh, yeah. Dang, it's hot. All right, let's get this straight. Let's get this cut on. Uh, yeah, let's get some AC going. Yeah. Hot. Some of that out of here. Yeah. What's up with you guys? Welcome back to the channel. My hand's still messed up. Uh, uh, well, it's not. Oh, well, yeah, it's still messed up. It's healing after what y'all seen on the live. So we're doing pretty good. We're doing pretty good as of right now. So today's lesson is today. We're gonna go down here, and a lot of people want to know what we control is all about, and we're gonna go over that right now. D-Way, how's your weed control? Did you do anything to it? Had it ran away? Is it woolly? Well, we finna go out here and go check and we finna go see. Cause I need to go see for myself. I ain't gonna lie. Other than what I see at the house. So, so I'm leaving right now. And we're gonna go down here and we're gonna get on the gator. And uh We're gonna talk about this thing right here. Later. Oh. So, let's get out of here and let's get on the gator. Well, so today I didn't vlog any uh, today going to the granary. And of course y'all already seen it. And plus it was raining like crap, so I had to literally put both hands on the wheel. And there was indeed a wreck down I-55. And so I just made it seem like, hey, we're just going we're just gonna leave it alone. So let me get in here. So since we already down here, uh we're gonna look at the weed control. Now, as of right now, you can tell the difference between the drill, which is the 1590 drill, which is the throw out drill, versus the 1790 drill. But the uh, 1590 drill didn't really necessarily come up like it's supposed to. So uh, that's where the replant came in. And uh, plus, we had a lot of rain. Now, we had a lot of rain starting from April and the end lot of it in May, a lot of it in June, and then we got a parcel of it in July, so uh, it's kind of, it was real hectic for farmers to try to get in and out of the fields, and we kind of caught a lot of that during wheat cutting time, and, but man, it was just, we got, actually, technically, we got more rain this year than we did any other years, so let me just, uh, Right around and let you check out the crop and then we're gonna be out and we're gonna talk some more. And we got beans coming up, older beans, new beans. Everybody coming up out here. So you can tell where the replant is, where the 1790 is going. This is right here what I practice my auto steer. Right when I got used to it, and right when I got the hand of it, so you see the rows are connected. Everything is where it's supposed to be. Now, right there, you will see you will see taller beans. Now, the taller beans is the one that we planted first before the replant, and so. But hey, that's okay. I'm not worried about that. So. Uh, the younger beans will catch up and and compete with that, so that would be fine. Uh, well, 
long as the other beams are coming in right behind it, it will be okay. So we're looking at the weed control. So as you can see, just about everything out here is dead. So let's get over here while let's get over here while actually auto here we got it we got it like I really want to. Okay, let's check it out. Right here are some G6s, and uh, uh, I can't really just tell you what day I planted these on, but these are uh, the older beans. Now, this is on tillage ground versus no till ground, so we're gonna go up there up top, right up here, and then we're gonna check it out. So, I'm just riding just just showing y'all what weed control look like as you can look out here uh, beans are now just coming out of the ground and then over there on up there on up top you're doing you're doing pretty good that's what I say so let's get out and walk comparison of no tier ground versus I mean no tier ground versus tillage ground so you see how clean all of this right here is all of this and I sprayed it multiple times and uh, these are some good looking beans now these right here are some G6's these right here are from um, Hurt Seed Company and we went with these. These are the exact same, the exact same seeds that's planted over there at the new farm. So now we walk over here and you see the comparison right here and right here with the way where the beans at. All right, let's get down here and look.
Now see, we got beans coming up out of here. And then you got some older beans right here that, this is the first planting right here that didn't come up. Cause as you can see, they are blooming. And then you got the little beans. Those are the replant. The little ones are the replants. So you can see them coming up all the way through, all the way down through. So it just really just need just a little bit of rain and we'll be okay. Cause really this right here is nothing but, these beans right here at least, actually it's a week old bee. Now this is without rain now, a week old without rain. So don't, like I said, don't look at the taller beans that you see right here. Those are the replant. I mean, those, uh, the smaller ones are the replants. I'm, I'm trying to talk y'all. I'm trying to get y'all the right info. Uh, but the taller ones, those came, those are planted first. And then those, these, this spot right here was planted with the 1590 drill. Now I wasn't around to set this. My uncles and them, they were, uh, supposed to set it, but, uh, I think co-op said it was already set or something. I don't know what happened, but in other words, it didn't come up. Now these right here are planted with the 1790. All of this right here has been planted with the 1790. So you see how well that works. So it does good. The set, so the comparison of here I can't compare it from this and yet because the 1790 went over here and planted this too, which is the replant. So we got to get more rain to get those beans up. They already up all the way through. They already up. And then these right here, 1790, these are already up. All these beans are up. Now, does friendship look like this? <laughs> Wait until we get over there. It probably ain't gonna be today. <laughs> So let's go to another farm and let's check. Now you see right here by the by my house, weed control. There it is right there. None whatsoever. So you can see that I might later on through the day, I might have some grass here, there, there, there might come up, you know, since now it done rain. But really, we didn't get that much, we didn't get that much rain over here. So uh the moment we get at least a flood, I mean, God, yeah. and a good hot sun, we just need about two shots of rain in there. There it is. So let's go ahead and get out here and let's go to the place. I really want to go behind the water tank and show y'all that, but we're going to get there because I know some of y'all was like, hey, why D-Way planting all that grass? Yeah, I'm going to show y'all that too. Let me get this thing out of gear. Oh, now. Nah. So let's go.
see those itty bitty beans coming. They're all coming up.
this right here is the spot that when I was uh, replanting that night and y'all told me that the grass was too high. Well, it's beans all out through here. So there you have it. I've been waiting to show y'all this, even though I came back through here and looked at it. And as soon as I saw beans, I just turned around and went home. So there y'all have it, which means never doubt somebody that don't know what they are doing. Cause clearly, the beans are up. And it's like that. Hey, I'm doing a pretty good job at what I do. So, what I'm seeing right now, I got hallways coming. And you can see right here, right there, right there, right there. And, uh, yeah, you got grass coming. So, that let me know that I need to come out here and burn it again. So, now I know what this looks like. And all of this right here was done in auto steel. So, I'm happy. Let's go to the next one. having a 110 foot bone 
and that right there takes up one end to the other you have to fold and do that so the better judgment I did is don't get in it don't fool with it because uh, what I need to do is I need to take these trees right here out all these trees this right here on back I need to take those out and then I need to take this right here right here and push it on back then right over here I need to take that whole line out right there so it's just these three sections this one this one and this one I need to take all that out so in order for me to just go down there and just spray go around and spray but as of right now the sprayer is too wide and it's too big and I, I chose not to get in there just to keep from tearing it up and uh, but right now it's really too early to be looking at beans right now because even though they are coming up and I'm glad to see that they are coming up because we just not finally get some rain uh, for one we're supposed to be getting rain all this week and we just kind of I don't know we need more than what we got today in order to get these beans up but they're still coming though yeah so basically we got some grass coming we also got some beans coming up.
that it really is too early to be looking at solar veins right now because uh, the older veins are still growing and the younger veins, the new veins, which is the replants, are still coming up, people do the round. So let me get into a couple of weeks where it gets some of that rain and then we'll come back and then we'll see how things are going. Right now, you know, it's I don't even have a I don't man, I don't as you can see, you know, this is educational purposes. This is educational. And I'm not too ashamed of what kind of crop I got because uh this year I tried. Uh I went out and hauled uh wheat for other farmers and then I sent, you know, some help over here to do this but you know as you can see i'm not very pleased with the 1590 again i'm not very pleased with the 1590 and i don't even know why it was out here that i don't I, man hey so that was just a waste of money just to be honest yeah it's it's not set properly and I hate that I even not came out here and just look over that drill and not set it properly but it's I can't be in 15 places at one so that's that's just like it's impossible but I will uh do something different next year so but like I said this is just a learning experience I mean the 1590 is not where it's at I don't know. I, uh, I don't know what settings it, it was in. I, I really don't know. But I ain't happy with it. And then plus on top of that, maybe I'm just exaggerating. I mean, everything that I replanted uh, is coming up, but it's not busting the ground due to the fact we ain't got enough rain to soften the ground so the seeds can come out the ground. So... I, I really don't know, but you know, hey, I like to put out content. What if it's good or what if it's bad? I mean, at the end of the day, we all we all in this together as farmers. We all going through the same thing. And, you know, we, we all going through drought spells. We all going through water spells. We're looking for water and we seem like we can't we can't get it so that's what i'm talking about and it's you know the sick of me that i have to see this and it's a lot of ground that i have to go over and i did so now it's almost like what's next so i don't know let me part this thing let me continue talking so so the answer to my question is, do I have a good crop? I ain't ashamed to say, uh, no, I don't have a good crop because everything, let me take this out, because everything is been replanted and everything is kind of like, you know, it's, uh, what was the biggest mistake that I learned from this is, renting a 1590 drill and not set it properly. But the way it is, I would take the blame of that, of not setting it properly because of the simple fact I wasn't around to set it. Uh, you have my brothers, you have my uncles that, you know, don't quite comprehend and not understand the settings like they're supposed to be. Uh, but I take full responsibility and the blame for that. So that's pretty much where it's at. Or what I need to do. But hey, that's okay though. You live and you learn and you continue to move forward and continue to learn even more. So now you know the rights and the wrongs. Now, me personally, I think we should have stuck with this 1790. And, cause just about almost every place, in some places that, 
everything came up. And when I see that everything came up with the 1790 versus the 1590, so now I'm like questioning myself, like, you know, the drill wasn't set properly, uh, but the uh, 1790 was set properly, but the 1590 was not. Well, D-Way, where did you get the 1590 from? Well, I got the 1590 from Co-op, so that's, you know, trying to help out speed things up because it, it was raining a lot so i was in crush time and i couldn't really just do anything because in fact i'm over there at, uh helping somebody else haul grain because that's what i do i haul and uh and it's just you know hey and then when you come back and then when you get done hauling, then you yourself, you go out and you ride around and you're not satisfied with nothing with that 1590 did. And yeah, man, I, I really, I'm really talking bad about that drill, but hey, uh, it's not nobody's fault but mine because I didn't take the time out to come out and set it properly, the depth, so well, D-Way, what do you think that went wrong with the 1790? Well, for one, it's plenty too deep. Uh, when me and my brother was talking, uh, we was on the phone together, and he had called and asked me a question, and he was like, hey, got a quick question. I said, yeah, how deep is that drill planted? And I'm like, you know what, that's a good question. Let me go over here and look. So I went over there and checked it out. So the ground wasn't really that hard. It was basically relatively you know kind of metal a little bit but so technically the drill was in the red so when it's in the red so now i thought and i'm like oh, okay maybe it's too deep and i was like let me look at the down for us and then when i dropped it down crank tracked it up and dropped it down and then moved up and see how deep the seeds were planting they were a little bit past, they were just a little bit past, you know, the first line. Just a little bit. So now I'm looking at it like it's deep. So now I'm looking at it like now it's too deep. So now I'm seeing what it's putting down. So I was like, mm. so when I adjusted one of the, the cultivators and the row cleaners, and then I put it down at the end and then went forward. So that told me right there that the downforce and the press wheels are not set properly. Really, the press wheels, they were not gauge wheels, they were not set. Because um, to me, it wouldn't, wouldn't really make any difference how much downforce you got in the ground. Because if you set your gauge wheels a certain way, then no matter how deep you put it in the ground, the gauge wheel's gonna stop you at a certain point. So that's that's kind of like where I'm at right now. So yeah. Oh, so if you can. All I know is it's just my downfall. That's all it is. Uh, am I gonna have a good crop this year? The answer to that is no. Uh, no. Well, if I'm still gonna handle everything, the answer is yes. <laughs> hey, it is what it is, man. You live, you learn, start over again next year. I mean, that's all a farmer can do. It's just not just me. There are a lot of farmers out here having this problem. Uh, but I see beans that are coming up. So there you have it. But I know I got claims that I need to file and there it is. And it's just, it's just is what it is at that point right there. So. Well, there you have it. I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here. So this is just day one of looking at the bean. I didn't look at all of it because I didn't want to. I, I didn't want to just, you know. But this is just uh, what.
what do you call this? This is just what I call a syllabus. This is what the beans look like after replants. They are coming up, as you can see, everything is coming up, but it's, you know, I'm still looking at the rain situation. We haven't had any rain since I replanted. And so that plays a part as well. So you have to look into that as well. And you can't leave that out. We just got a little bit of rain this morning and it wasn't enough. But hey, uh, they said it's supposed to rain all this week, but the only thing us as farmers, not just me, not just my brother, not, not just everybody that's on YouTube platform, but everybody around that surrounds me and everybody in the world is going through the same thing. I talked to some people in Alabama. They, some side of Alabama is getting rain, some ain't. Uh, so you can talk to some in North Carolina. They they haven't got no rain since God knows when. Uh, uh, what else? Uh, Texas, they still in a drought spot. I mean, for cotton. I mean, it's it's, it's everywhere, y'all. It's everywhere. So don't think that, oh, man, D-Way, man, he's just going downhill. Now, let me stop y'all right there because that ain't going to happen. That would never happen. You would never see me go down here because we already made that mistake once. You never see me make the same mistake twice. So that's the reason why I'm doing what I'm doing now is getting rid of a bunch of stuff. And one combine, one spray, one uh, planter. That's it, or I mean, one tractor, one combine, one spray. That's all I need. And then just take the truck and just run, just run. I'm gonna be fine, y'all. I'm gonna be fine. What if I make a crop or not? I'm gonna be fine. <laughs> I'm still gonna be vlogging. I'm still gonna be doing me. Y'all will see all that. But right now, this is video. This is week one of what we're just gonna say there. This is week one. I'm gonna put that in the title. Uh, we control week one. To see this right here is determine what everything looks like after replant without rain. We got a little bit of rain, like I said, uh, uh, yesterday. I mean, not yesterday, but this morning. But we didn't get enough. So this is week one. I'm just gonna say this is week one without rain. But we're gonna try week two, and we're gonna come back and try it again. So I'm gonna say every weekend, I'm gonna come out and we're gonna ride and look at the farm again and see how well the beans are producing. But at least I know back everything back behind the water tank needs Roundup. So at least I know that. Well, really everybody, huh? <laughs> Even once you spray Roundup, you might as well go all over, the, all over the place. But you did see right there in front of the house. That's just clean as a whistle. And that part right there I planted because you see I was here. But that wasn't a replant. I just ran right through it and planted and now look at it. The planter was set properly in the ground, depth covered up with seed, ground speed, everything was good. But when you're dealing with a 15-night drill, uh, I just don't know, y'all. I just don't know. I mean, all I can say, man, it wasn't set properly. Uh, I ain't ashamed to say that. Uh, there it is. One set problem. So there you have it. Mm. But it's already August. Next week is August. Thursday is the first of August. So if it come up, it come up. If it don't, it don't. So be it. Just get what you can, and just we're gonna get an early start next year, and we're gonna do this right gonna do it right and a lot of the planting and a lot of the spraying is gonna be done by my brother and I uh, mm. but there you have it let me stop talking but until the next time y'all be sure to like share subscribe to the YouTube channel click the notification bell if you have any questions put down the link down in the description down below man it's, I'm not down I'm just not happy of the results so i mean hey like i said this is educational y'all 
A lot of farmers ain't gonna show y'all this, but I will. I ain't ashamed of what I show, but people need to know. People need to understand this is what can happen if we don't get it rain, if we don't get out there on time, if we don't hustle. You know, I don't, you know, sitting under the tree. It's not gonna cut it. Standing around talking about it, hey man, remember what we did last year and uh, that ain't gonna cut it. I need you farmers need to get out there and go. And this is not a uh, playtime for me. I need you out there and gone. Uh meaning with this Let me let me go ahead and get out of here, y'all, because I'm starting to create a headache. Peace.